Everyone will be running to their local Dollar Tree for their spring planters after watching these new and exciting hacks. They have so many different styles, colors, and sizes to choose from, and they're all only $1.25 each. That is such a great price compared to other department stores. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon, and I want to welcome you here to my channel, The Daily DIYer. So first up, we're gonna make a beautiful but budget-friendly urn-style planter using a medium planter pot from Dollar Tree and one of their smaller ones. The smaller ones come in a multi-pack. You'll also need a five inch and six and a half inch piece of square wood and a four inch and five inch round piece of wood. Mine are from Hobby Lobby, but you can also use scrap wood if you have it on hand. You'll need a heavy duty adhesive. You can find those at Dollar Tree, but I'm gonna be using a construction grade style adhesive for this since it's going outside I want to make sure this is going to last and last so I'll make sure to link my adhesive down in the description box below you can find it on Amazon super easy to use and I'm just stacking those wood pieces on top of each other for the bottom of our urn we're gonna do the same thing with the round pieces but we're gonna stack them so they kind of make that stair step look and using the adhesive in between those as well applying it in between and then pressing down then once those kind of have a minute to set up we're going to move on to adding our planters so we're going to take our adhesive add it to the rim of the smaller planter and flip that upside down onto the square pieces of wood Once you have that nice and centered and pressed down well, you can go ahead and add some more adhesive onto the bottom of that pot, adding plenty of glue in there to make sure you have a good bond between the wood circles that are gonna go on top there. Press that down really well. And this is the basic shape of the bottom of our urn. We're then gonna add some more adhesive onto the wood round and add the bigger planter on top. You have to check with your adhesive. Mine takes about an hour for it to set up and then it takes another 24 hours for it to cure all the way. So what I did is I actually added some weight to the inside of the urn to make sure it stayed all together and gave it time to cure. So I'm just using some river rocks from Dollar Tree, placing that inside there and letting it sit. And then we're gonna take it outside. I'm using some oil rubbed bronze spray paint to paint the entire thing. It's really gonna give this a nice cohesive look. I love the way the spray paint just kind of transforms this into what looks like individual pieces, kind of joins it all together to be one beautiful piece. The boxwood on the inside is from a home store. It was only about $12, but you can also add real plants to this too. Now I have to draw attention to my shirt that says eat, sleep, craft, repeat. It's just one of the many new fun crafty merch items I just launched from mugs to totes, water bottles to stickers. They all have fun crafting sayings and in multiple colors you can choose from. Check it out. I'll have the shop linked down below. Next up, we're gonna make a quick and really simple and easy lantern using one of these smaller planters from Dollar Tree. You're gonna need your hot glue gun. I will link mine down below because I get a lot of questions about it. It has a nice fine tip on the end for detail and it also kind of allows you to melt through plastic like this and create holes. So if you actually just puncture it and then twist it so that the glue gun goes up to the wider part, you'll get a nice round little melted hole in your planter. I basically just went around the whole planter randomly creating holes. And later on, we're gonna be adding a candle to this, which is gonna be really pretty and show through those holes. Once you've made your way all the way around the planter, you wanna go back and clean it all up. I use some needle nose pliers to kind of pull off any excess uh, plastic and then took those pliers and kind of routed out the holes even more to make them a little bit bigger and more symmetrical. 
And then all you need to do is use some of those river rocks from Dollar Tree in the bottom that's gonna weight it down and add a Dollar Tree candle to the inside. Or if you want to up your budget a little bit, uh, you can find candles on timers on Amazon. I'll link my favorite ones down below. And basically you have a really pretty lantern during the daytime, but then of course, especially at nighttime, you see that beautiful glow. If you could pause for one second, hit that thumbs up button. That helps out my channel so, so much. Next, we're gonna make a raised tray. I love these because they are so easy. You need a metal bucket from Dollar Tree along with a burner cover, which gives you options for sizes. I'm gonna be using the smaller size, and this one I actually used in a previous project, so I am reusing them. And I actually like to do that with projects. I kind of keep things around to repurpose. So what I've done is I wanna keep that jute on the bottom of this planter. I really like it, it's pretty. We're gonna take and paint the rest of it with a plaster colored uh, chalk paint. And I had already done that with the burner cover. And to make it all kind of tie together, we're gonna use some jute or rope from Dollar Tree, just hot gluing that around the edge of the burner cover. Again, I'm gonna come in with my construction adhesive. So I have a nice long bond and strong hold for this project flipping that tray right on top of there. And as you can see, it's really just that easy after you let this sit for about an hour to then be able to use it in your home decor. You can also put a plastic dish on this and use it for food too. Up next, we're gonna make a side table. I really fell in love with these sort of modern style planters. They have a really nice shape to them and the plastic's really nice and flat too. So we're gonna be pairing that with a pizza pan to help create this side table. We're gonna take that first planter, flip it upside down, add the construction adhesive in between them and push this together. Let it sit for about an hour before taking it outside and then spray painting it. Here is a tip. If you want a chalk paint finish, but don't wanna spend the like nine or $10 it costs for those cans of spray paint, grab this primer instead. You'll get a, a nice matte finish still, and it's a really great hack and it'll save you money. Next, let's talk about this pizza pan. It's silver, but I really wanted something a little bit more uh, gold looking. So what I did is I took some rub and buff to this. You literally just put some on a rag and rub it into your metal. I'll make sure to link this down below too. Super cheap and expensive. They have different finishes. This one is the antique gold. And you can see it just completely changed the whole look of it. Love it so much. We're also going to pair this with some nautical rope to finish it off. But first we need to apply that pizza pan topper to our piece. So again, with a construction adhesive, pressing that down on the top and then adding the nautical rope onto the center top and bottom of this table with my hot glue. I want to show this setup inside because it's really pretty next to a chair inside. But if you took some clear matte sealer to this whole thing, you could even make it safe to use for the outdoors. You guys are gonna love this hack. It is so simple and easy, and I know I'm gonna be making lots of these hanging planters for my own personal use outside in the springtime once it gets a little bit warmer here. Basically just taking a regular planter from Dollar Tree, using my hot glue gun again to burn holes, two of them into both sides of a planter. Same kind of concept of then taking my pliers to route the holes out, get rid of any extra plastic. 
and doing that on both sides. This particular planter had little lines in the design, which actually was really helpful when it came to making sure those holes that I added were level and even. So once we had that ready to go, we're gonna come in with some four ply jute. I'll link this down below. You can find it at Walmart. And we're gonna cut probably about two to three feet of cord uh, per side. And you're basically gonna go from the outside of the pot to the inside of the pot with both ends of your jute. And that's going to help us hang this, but we're gonna do this on both sides. So we'll have four strings hanging off the top total. So now that we have those strung through the holes, you basically just grab all of the ends at the top, making sure you have them all level and even before tying a knot in the top. And then you can go ahead and use your little hanging plant, make it longer or shorter as needed. I love how quick and easy these are to make. So you can make several of these if you needed, but they look so, so nice. Concept is so simple and the process is so quick too. Now we're gonna make a very fancy and beautiful planter with one of these rectangle planters from Dollar Tree. You're also going to need a wood burning tool, which I'll make sure to link mine down in the description box below. You can find those on Amazon. And then here is a little tip. You can put these in coffee mugs. It's a little bit more safe than the stands that come with them and gives you more control. And the coffee mug happens to be one of my merch items, which I will link down in the description box below. So cute. You can put all kinds of craft supplies in those too. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that lip off of our planter to make it flush. So I have my hot knife on my wood burning tool and you can flip it over. Make sure you have something down like a scrap piece of wood to protect your work surface or you can just take it right to the top and kind of cut all the way around the edges so that it's flush. The reason we're doing this is because we're gonna be using these wood shelves from Dollar Tree to create a box to go around it. And we needed to do that to make this fit within those sizes. So you'll need two of the large shelves, one of the smaller shelves that has a set of two, but they do come with holes in them. So what we're gonna do is take some Dollar Tree spackle, push that into the holes, take our scraper to get any excess off, let that dry, and then we're gonna go ahead and sand that flat so you never see those holes at all. Then to give it a wood stained look, I'm using traditional burnt umber acrylic paint. And if you plan to use this outside, now's a great time to seal your wood with a polycrylic as well. Once it's dry, we can start building this box and putting it together. So I'm adding some wood glue to the edges of the smaller pieces. They are gonna be the end caps of our longer pieces. You can find the wood glue at Dollar Tree too. I'm adding some painter's tape to those corners so it has time to dry and set up. So I did that to both ends. And then for some added security, I came in with my staple gun, which I'll link down below. I love this thing because it is rechargeable and you don't need a big battery on it. You can even use brad nails with it. Such a cool crafting tool. Once I had the staples in those edges, I came in with my paint again to make sure to cover them up so they'll blend better. And now we're gonna work on the planter. So I'm adding some Dollar Tree styrofoam and some moss to the inside of this. Took my hot glue around all the edges to make sure that those were nice and covered. And also filled in more on the center to make sure the styrofoam was also fully covered too. 
Then you can go ahead and add your moss planter to the inside of there that fits perfectly. And we can add some flowers to this. So these are tulips that I made in my spring DIYs video. So if you missed that, I will link that down below too. Super easy and really cute springtime high end look flower that you can add and push down into the styrofoam of your planter. I love, love, love the way this turned out. It is so pretty. You could also use this outside and use the planter for real flowers too. Dollar Tree also carries terracotta pots and I did a video last spring on 10 different ways you can hack those. So if you missed it, I'll link it down below or you can watch it after this video, but I thought it'd be fun to share my favorite project from that video here in this one in case you missed it. You basically take a terracotta pot and you, I'm just putting some stuffing in there to kind of take up space and room so I didn't have to use so much river rock in there. And then I put a small saucer on top and a Dollar Tree vase in there. Put some more rocks in the vase and a Dollar Tree votive inside to create a beautiful lantern that you can use day and night. Quick and easy projects are my favorite and this one definitely was quick and easy. You could also use a battery powered tea light candle in there too. You could paint it and really make it personalized. I also did a plunger hacks video recently. I'll link that down below as well if you missed it, but I did a planter hack tutorial in that one too. So I thought I would throw that in there in case you missed it as well. These are plunger handles. I'm using some Goo Gone to get all the adhesive from the stickers off and using a handsaw and miter box to cut down legs. We're going to make a little plant stand with these. You are going to need four legs total. So two plunger handles cut in half works perfectly. And of course, you're going to need a Dollar Tree planter too. We're gonna be using a combination of gel super glue and also some hot glue to attach those legs onto the planter. I drew three lines on a piece of paper to kind of help guide me as I added these legs onto the planter and it just kind of made everything stay level and even. The hot glue is going to allow us to attach the legs onto the planter and it will dry quickly for us to move on to the next one. But the super glue is what is going to keep these legs on long term. So once you get the first leg on and where you want it, just take some masking tape and apply that on there. That way our super glue has some time to cure and set up and we can move on to the next one. Going all the way around and making sure we add all four legs on evenly. Again, this is another idea you can use indoors or out. I love the way this looks set on my fireplace. And if you're looking for even more planter hack ideas, I did this video last year on the huge planters from Dollar Tree. Now I haven't seen them this year yet, but if you guys have, let me know down in the comments below, or maybe you already have planters or you still have some of these left over from last year and you haven't seen that video, I will link it here for more ideas and inspiration. Don't forget to check the description box to a link to the new crafty merch along with some of the supplies and tools that I use throughout this video. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one.